back to the channel. It's a quick introduction today because I forgot that I'm actually meant to be vlogging. Whoops. Um, we're just here in the stables giving the boys a little brooch off because we are planning on going to an arena eventing clinic. Um, it's where I took pickles last year when we did a little cross country practice. Um, so hopefully it'll be a good time. Hopefully he'll load. I took him to the local Olympics <laughs> arena last, no, let go. I took him to a local arena. So last weekend or the weekend before? Last weekend. Oh, weekend before. Um, and just a little bit of show jumping and he loaded well and he, and he went around and <laughs> didn't have me off. So I'm hoping that'll be the same today. Stop biting. Um, we have brought our hat cams along today. So hopefully we'll get some footage from them. And if they work, we haven't used them for a while. So hopefully they don't go peach on pitch. You're really making this hard work. Um, so yeah, that's kind of where we are at the moment. So it's probably going to be more of a hat cam and spectator video vlog. I'll probably try and voice over to replicate what Emily is telling us because I'm sure there'll be a load of wind so you won't be able to hear it. Pigs. Um, so yeah, I don't really know how, I haven't really planned this vlog. It's just going to be a case of seeing what the videos come out like and going from there. But yeah, I'm going to carry on now, sorting the boy out. I can't, you know, faff um, fuck around too much because he might get a little bit annoyed. So probably see when we get there. We'll definitely be going. They both loaded. Pickles went in first time, so yeah, at least we'll get there. So we've made it and we've arrived. We're just sitting in the car a second because um, the group ahead is still in front. Um, mm -hmm. The group ahead is still in, and um, we've got Ralphie Rudels, George's little boy, in the car. So we've not gone down to join them to have a little nose. Um, so yeah, we're just hanging around here for a minute until it's time for us to go in. I'm rosy faced as hell. I've come over really hot, but. That's about it, really. Leave me, baby. Don't want to fall again. This just hurt me. Just think about it, think about it. But to hold me, that you don't want to break. I need some space. Just think about it. 
Hello everybody, so I thought I would do a little voiceover, we'll give it a go anyway. Um, so apologies if talking over the wind noise and stuff is a little bit annoying. Um, but as you had seen just now, uh, we were warming up, um, you know, cantering around and making our way through this grid here. Um, we obviously all, all took in turns with it and it was just about sort of getting them focusing on the first part of the day we were um doing everything in sections to make it or prepare ourselves for completing the whole course and um the boys were really good actually um pickles was very very spicy to start with um as you would see um but he did start to settle once we all went around individually when we were all warming up we were sort of one after another and he was getting a bit keen um so no it did improve as the session went on here you can see he was a bit keen so i had to do a circle but we were just starting off with this first jump which was on our side it said road closed and obviously there's a water tray underneath it but the boys took no notice of that and then here we had to turn right um yeah that all worked out quite well really and i was quite happy with how they um they reacted to it so this next section we moved on we moved on everything quite quickly because everybody everybody's horses you know took to each task quite easily um so you'll see here gussie goes over a little roll top and then there was a water tray just there where he jumped which is simulating a ditch and then the cross pole after as you can see gussie so paid no attention to that and he's looking super um I'm hopefully not talking over the sound too much because I did try to keep the sound in, see what Emily had to say, but I feel like I'm probably going to be too loud compared to the video and the wind noise. But there you'll see Pickles did that well and was very keen coming out the other side. So for this little section we were just practicing this first part which was that um, sort of little narrow brush fence. It wasn't that narrow but it was um, starting us with preparing to put the like two fences together. Um, Pickles didn't want to counter properly on this leg so we just had to go for it but again he didn't mind and cracked on and jumped it. Now we come around again. Um, it's probably, it's very to and fro, so Gussie me, Gussie me, but, um, that's just kind of how the session went, so this time we missed out that skinny, but went around to the Christmas tree brush just over here, it was a little bit bigger, ooh, Gussie took a flyer there, but, again, no problem for him, and around comes Pickles, what will he do, does he buck? Yep, <laughs> but he got the right leg, which was almost glad about. And he continued on in a nice rhythm around the corner. Um, I think Emily might count, so I might be quiet a minute. I saw a long one, so he took a bit of a stride out and slipped my reins, but he still jumped it fine. So here we come around again. I believe this time we put two and two together. Gussie flew lovely and met it perfectly. I try to, I'm trying to keep quiet in between times because I want to see if I can allow the sound enough for Emily to talk, but I don't know if you can hear that. And obviously, Pickles is getting narky here, which was quite a lot through the session. We found that he was doing it more when the rain started, he didn't like it. Because that's pickles all over. But no, he was just being the right pest about going on his right hand's lead here. But we got there in the end. And jump that nice. And jump that good too. This little bit here, we were just practicing going up the steps and back down the first time. The boys had no trouble with that. We come up and down them quite steadily because I wasn't sure whether they would tank off at the end but they didn't and then we had to come straight for a little skinny brush fence there and flew it piece of pee. 
I thought Pickles might have been a bit nappy here, going away from everybody. But he did quite a good job, really, for him. He can always be a bit of a nuisance going away from the group with him and his separation problems. But he was pretty good here. I came down the steps really quietly because I didn't want him launching the other end and sending me into orbit. But he didn't. He was good. So here we were putting in the two skinny brush fences together. I'm trying to ride it as like a semicircle rather than turning into a straight line. We kept it on a curve. And yeah, met those really nice. Gussie's keen's a bean. Pickles is bucking. He was being a bit of a pest here as well to get the right can to lead. So it took a minute, but he jumped it nice. We made it around. And he went there too. Two. <laughs> this bit here, Gussie was being fussy with his counter leads. We're just prepping ourselves because for this, which was the pipes, and then just the other side of where Emily was stood, there's like a little pile of black pipes. Um, again, the boys had no problem with that, and Pickles actually did this combination the best. Out of everything, I think. He made it all quite nice. <laughs> so, yeah, here we've put it up to the second bar. I made it a bit more of a beefier jump. Um, Gussie was just fussing with his legs a little bit there, so she came round to do it again. I probably talked over Emily the whole time there. Whoops. But uh, perfect the second time round. Pickles bucking again. He was a proper monkey coming down this section. Oh no, I'm ahead of myself. He was good. He met all that really well. Really good. So here we were doing the double of blue barrels. Again, coming off the corner, it was quite tight, so we had to be locked on. One, two, three, perfect. Easy peasy for Gussie. Naughty. He was being such a pest. Oop, there we go. <laughs> One good thing is when he bucks, he does tend to go on the right canter lead most of the time, so sometimes it's helpful. He was really keen through there. And took a flower at that one. <laughs> and then I couldn't stop. Gus, he's always in cross country mode, flying in. But jump that arrowhead, lovely.
think it's this time around Pickles was naughty with his bucking. Yes, it was this time. He kept bucking and throwing himself off. And that was the big bug he did. And I was like, oh, Christ. My hat came forward, had to sort myself out and try and get around again. But he was getting a little bit tired, I think, at this point and fed up with me asking him to canter on the correct lead. So he was telling me his opinion on it. But we managed to keep the right um, leg there and... A bit of bump over that one. This time round, we jumped up. See the bigger roll top again. Jumped it fine, and now we're coming to doing our full round. Gussie was keen. Georgia forgot a little bit where she was going here. Did her jump off turn. <laughs> Gussie met this lovely every time he jumped it, all within his stride. And this one, he just met everything perfect. He's just got a lovely rhythm. A little stumble up the steps. And another conserved um, down the steps. Because he is likely to go zooming off. But still made the turns nice. Easy peasy. Who cool, big jump there? Getting a bit tired, so I think he took the wrong leg there. But he changes. A little bit disunited. Plowed on. <laughs> I'm finished. He always does a lovely round, Gussie does. Even if there's a little mistake in there, he's always good. And now Pickle's turn. Our last round of the day. Finished on a good note, actually. And, yep, he did start cantering on the correct lead, which was a bonus, so we didn't have to keep stopping and starting. But we didn't land on the right lead. But he, well, skipped, but still went on the right leg, so that doesn't matter. It always takes a little bit more of like a go button to go over that jump, but fires off. Went through there quite nicely, made it right, which is good. Took the flag down with my foot. He left his foot behind up that second step there, but still went up and down quite nicely. And again, I came down quite steadily because I didn't want him ploughing off again because he does get a little bit full of himself. But that was good. And then I'd try and get him going again in canter and, and contain himself for that bit.
He always met those nicely. And we changed our legs quite quickly there. And he did it right there again. Once he's flowing, he's not too bad. Oh, camera didn't want to focus. Lost a bit of impulsion there, and then he stumbled at the end. But we we regained ourselves and finished there on a hey nice guys, note. So, um, back from being out earlier, obviously. You can see, I'm in my um, bedroom brace. Just cleaning out Padme's stable because he's been in all day. He has no fencing, so I've just stuck him in the sand school for um, 10 minutes while I sort this out. Um, but I just thought I'd come on and do a little outro, so I always forget to do them. Um, so yeah, today has gone really, really well. Really pleased because it was a big test today. Um, obviously, all of last year, or last summer, Pickles was um, going solo on his outings. Obviously, Georgia wasn't competing last summer because she had had Ralph. So it was kind of a good opportunity to get Pickles out and about without needing Gussie. But now, obviously, Georgia is back on the scene. Um, and whilst we, were, we do the same thing, so they're going to have to go out together. So today was one, a test for that, and two, just another test about his loading really. And he was, he was really good. Um, he laid the first time over right here, well, as I said. Sorry, I was interrupted. So yeah, what was I saying? Yeah, so obviously Pickles made the first time here, which you didn't see, but obviously I said that he did. Um, but when we arrived, he was re he was um, quite spicy. Obviously he's not been out with other horses for quite some time. So um, yeah, I didn't really know how he was gonna react today. But actually, once he had got his initial sort of exuberance out of the way, he worked really well. Obviously, you would have seen that because this is obviously after I've put all the videos together. Um, I am doing a, well, and also you will see, because I've done a voiceover, how I thought it went. He was, he was bucking, <laughs> which... It's always expected from him. He often, um, I find now, he starts to buck and mess around when he's getting tired or frustrated. So I wasn't like annoyed by the fact that he had been bucking. So um, yeah, I was just pleased in general. Gussie was really good. Obviously he's not been out for ages. Not seen jumps like that since 2021. So yeah, all in all, we've had a good day. Really annoyed that my hat camera didn't work because I was really hoping to get some headshots of going over the jumps and him throwing me around in the saddle, but not this time. So I think I'm gonna to have to invest in a different camera. I just got like a cheapy one, but I think I'm gonna to have to get a GoPro. Anyway. I guess that's the end of that now. Um, I think the end of April will be my next vlog. Um, hopefully we've got a competition then. All being while the weather stays all right because it's just been absolutely sodden everywhere at the minute. So like a lot of um, cross country venues aren't opening yet because it's so wet. Um, so yeah, hopefully that will be the next vlog which will be the end of April which is a month's time. So you'll have to hold up for a while but my day-to-day -day life isn't isn't fun enough to just vlog so yeah i hope you've all enjoyed this one and i will catch up again with you in a month's time thank you bye